Hey guys, it's Shalisa and welcome to the Crafty Corner. Today we are going to work with power and speed on engraving wood on this mini charcuterie board. So in our beam studio, you'll see here that when you go to the drop down and put wood engraving, the default is your power is 25 and your speed is 5.95. And that's what gave us the more flat finish. So let's play with this and let's up our power to 35 and let's bring down our speed because again the higher the power will be the deeper the cut and the lower the speed will be the more dark that our uh, project will come out so let's try it with this we are going to put our piece of wood in Let's survey our area. Make sure that our project is lined up on the camera. And some tips that you can do when working with wood is you can mask and tape your surface to help with burn marks. You can dampen your wood, or if you do have burn marks, you can go in and sand the area uh, with the burn marks, or you can use um, rubbing alcohol or soapy water as well. So now that we've surveyed our area, we have our perfect placement for our logo here. Let's come out of camera view. Again, we can check our timer here. How long is this going to take? Because we did just change our power and our speed. So now it'll take us a minute and three seconds, which is about seven seconds longer than what our original project was. All right. So we can see now that we have the darkness and the texture for our engrave. So the higher the power, the deeper we cut into the wood, and the slower the speed is the darker it gets. And really we can think of that, um, it, it truly makes sense because the slower the speed is the slower that the laser is going to go back and forth and really burn into that area. The faster the speed, it's going to just pass over the surface faster and give it less heat. So we can see the difference now from slower speed, slower, lower power, higher power, medium speed, perfect speed, perfect power. So this again is a higher power, lower speed. And you can see we, we burned on the surface we burned through the surface, but we didn't really, I mean, this is probably a really bad example because it is on the darker side of the wood, but we would see the difference because it would be darker. You can see it here. So this one would be what we work with. So my recommendation is having a higher speed to get in the same burn marks, but a higher power to get in to the cut. Happy laser cutting.